Welcome back to the channel. This is part 4 in the Python AWS Lambda series. In this video, we're going to step through the CI CD, Continuous Integration, Continuous Deployment Pipeline using GitHub Actions. In the previous video, we were working with Docker images and we uploaded it to AWS ECR and had the Lambda function point to it to pull that image to run it. And we wanted to do updates, we had to rebuild the image locally, push it again to ECR, and again point Lambda to pull the latest image from ECR. It's a very cumbersome and tiresome process. We're going to automate all that very easily using the CI CD pipelines with GitHub Actions. Before we get started, you can help me out a lot by doing a few simple things. Sponsor me on GitHub Sponsors. Sponsor me on Patreon. Subscribing to the YouTube channel. Liking this video and sharing it on platforms you use like Reddit or Discord. Starring the repo and following me on GitHub. Any or all of these is a big help and I'd really appreciate it. So let's get started. So you can find the workflow actions files in the .github folder and the workflows folder. So it's going to be this AWS lambda.yaml. We're going to do the v2 in a later video. So let's open up our code editor and go to the AWS lambda.yaml file in the GitHub workflows folder. So let's start stepping through this. First we have our name. This is just naming the action. It doesn't really matter. It can be whatever you want. It's on. It says on push. So whenever you push to master your main, it's going to run the workflow. Whenever you do pull request to master or main branch, it's going to run the workflow. Workflow dispatch means that we can run the action manually. We'll see that on the repo. So jobs, we're building. First, we specify the base image as if we're building a Docker container. We're specifying Ubuntu here. We specify a few top level variables that we can use throughout the action. The ECR image tag is latest. Why are we doing that? We go back, ECR. Latest is always the tag that we're using for our latest image. So we're going to keep that static. So we set that to latest, and in the default region, I'm specifying US East 1. If you're in a different AWS region, you need to change this here. So our steps, first we check out the code, and then we configure the AWS credentials. Passing in our secrets, AWS access key ID, secret access key, and the ENV AWS default region coming up from up here, where ENV corresponds to this. We need to specify these secret variables right here. How do we get these? Go back to the repo. We need to go to settings. Scroll down and go to Secrets, Actions. And we need to add them here. I'm going to switch over right now to a private repo I've created because I'm not putting my secrets in the public repo you're going to clone. So if I go to my private repo and I go to Settings, I scroll down to Secrets, Actions. Here's my secrets. So let's go back to the workflow action real quick. Access key ID and secret access key. So let's look at those. Access key ID and secret access key. Where are we getting these? If we go to the IAM console, we go to users. Remember, we created this user in the previous video. We go to security credentials. And we see our, we have our access key right here. And we also have this secret access key right here. If you lose or forget your secret key, you cannot retrieve it. Instead, create a new access key and make the old key inactive. So if you've lost your secret key, meaning you didn't write it down when, we, when you needed to, you can create a new one right here and update your access key and secret access key for your user. So what we can do then instead, if you have these already saved, you can go to your action secrets and just do new repository secret with the ADB access key ID. So we can go here, copy it from right here, new repository secret, paste this, go here, get your access key ID and paste this and then click add secret. And you'll do the same thing for the secret access key. So going back to the work profile, this right here, this code block is authenticating us with AWS. Then we log into Amazon ECR. Then we build and push our image to Amazon ECR. Now, real quick, we specify the ECR repository right here, AWS Lambda Demo ECR. If you named your ECR repository differently, you need to change this. So let's go back, ECR. This is the name that I chose for my ECR repository. So it's already there. But if yours is different, you need to change that here. Next, we're building the Docker image. So we can deploy it to AWS ECR. So we're doing the same thing we did before on the terminal locally, except now it's all within an action. So we're doing Docker build and we're passing our build arguments. The weather API key, access key, secret access, we already did these two, the default region from upstairs, the email user, and the email password. So we've already done these two. This is already specified at the top. So we need to do the weather API key, the email user, and the email password. So we go back to our repo. Action Secrets, 
we need to specify the email password, the email user, and the weather API key. So what you do is a new repository secret, copy each one of these, weather API key for one, new repository secret, copy and paste, and put the values in there. And remember, we put all these values in our .env file, so you can copy and paste from there. Okay, so we build our Docker image with this command right here. Then we push Docker push ECR repository to our image tag. Then we're actually deploying to AWS Lambda. Because remember, it's not enough to just update the image in ECR. We also have to update the Lambda to pull that new image. So we're calling the AWS Lambda update function code, the exact same command we used in the terminal manually before with the function name, AWS Lambda function name, which we have right here, and the secrets AWS ECR image URI. We haven't done that yet, so let's go back. We have to create that secret right here. How do we get that? We go here, we copy the URI, and we do a new repository secret. Paste this, go here, ECS image URI. One thing, leave off the latest. Take this off, and then save it. Again, take off the latest at the end, then add secret. So now you should have six total secrets in your repo. Going back, so what are we doing? Image URI, secrets, AWS, ECR image URI, environment, ECR image tag. Great, so now it's ready to run. So we can run all this right here in our repo. So let's go back, we go here, we go to actions at the top, AWS Lambda deploy at the top, run workflow, run workflow. We can refresh real fast. We see it's running, we can click into it. Go to the build. And now we're gonna let it run. And I'll fast forward to when it's done. Okay, the job finished. And we can see everything finished. So let's double check in AWS. Let's go to ECR first. Let's refresh. And we see we now have a new latest image tag that was just pushed. Go to Lambda, refresh. Last modified, 33 seconds ago. Great. So we updated the Lambda code very easily using the CI CD pipeline with GitHub Actions. We didn't have to do any manual steps. All we have to do is run the action. And we did it manually here by going to Actions, clicking on it, run workflow. But instead, we had just updated the code and pushed it to the repository. This would have kicked off automatically. So we, were, we don't even have to do this step. It all runs automatically. All right, that's it for this video. The next video is going to be somewhat short. We're going to set up AWS Event Bridge, which recently replaced CloudWatch, to schedule automatic running our AWS Lambda on periodic intervals. Stay tuned for that one.